Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most popular Linux distributions out there, Fedora. By the end of this video, you'll know what makes Fedora tick, who it's for, and how to get started. Let's jump right in. First things first, what exactly is Fedora? Fedora is one of many distros or distributions of Linux. Think of the Linux kernel as the engine under the hood and Fedora as the full car, complete with a user-friendly interface and a suite of apps. It's been around for about 20 years, maintained by uh, the community-driven Fedora project and backed by Red Hat, an IBM subsidiary. Fedora even serves as the upstream foundation for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which means innovations in Fedora often find their way into enterprise environments. Fedora comes in five main additions. Workstation for your desktop, Silver Blue for an immutable setup, Server for headless machines, IoT for embedded devices, and Core OS for containers. There are also Fedora Labs spins tailored to specific tasks like design, scientific computing, or gaming. Here's a quirk. Fedora releases a new version about every six months, but each only gets roughly a year of support. That rapid cycle keeps you on the bleeding edge, perfect if you're a developer or tech enthusiast, though you'll need to plan for annual upgrades. Fedora runs on modest specs, even by Linux standards. For minimum requirement you need, 2 GHz dual-core CPU, 2 GB RAM, 15 GB storage, and for recommended requirement you need, 2 GHz quad-core CPU, 4 GB RAM, 20 GB storage, an older PC from a decade ago can handle it though a more modern machine offers a snappier experience and better compatibility with the latest software features. To install Fedora, you'll need a Fedora ISO download, an 8 GB or larger USB stick, Fedora Media Writer or another image flashing tool, and a compatible PC. The process is similar to installing Windows or Ubuntu. Write the ISO, boot from USB, and follow the installer. Take care during partitioning, back up important data, and double check which drive you're formatting to avoid surprises. Once installed, you'll find a familiar desktop layout, taskbar, file manager, and default apps like Firefox and LibreOffice. Fedora uses Flatpak for an App Store feel plus the DNF package manager with RPM under the hood for CLI installations. If you want the newest features, latest kernels, GNOME update, developer tools, Fedora delivers. It ships only open source graphics drivers by default. So NVIDIA users may need to add proprietary drivers manually for best performance. Community resources and forums make that process straightforward. Can you buy a laptop with Fedora pre-installed? Lenovo has offered Fedora on selected ThinkPads, but your best bet is specialty vendors like Think Penguin. Most mainstream OEMs stick with Windows or Ubuntu, so you may need to install Fedora yourself if you choose a different brand. Is Fedora right for you? If you love frequent updates, cutting-edge software, and a distro that sits between beginner-friendly Ubuntu and hardcore Arch, give it a try. It's strong community, comprehensive documentation, and uh, professional focus make it a standout choice. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Linux deep dives. See you next time.